<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net. Welcome to this week's question and answer, which is How can I eat vegan food on a budget? Now, um, vegan food is affordable, and no matter what people tell you, you can live on a vegan um, budget and you can eat very well within that budget. It just depends on what you buy and it depends on where you shop. Not everyone needs to have um, vegan alternatives to the mainstream fare. You don't need to buy really expensive cheeses and fake meats. I think also keep in mind, a lot of people in the West, we're very privileged with what we have, um, the food choices we're able to make. So from choosing what we can or we can't eat or what we can or we can't buy to having access to a wide variety of foods and a place to store and cook these foods. And there's definitely a lot of substitution pro um, products in the market and there's, you know, 17 years ago as a vegan there was definitely not as many now and there's just so many from all over the world. We have some that are made in Australia, there's many from Asia, from the UK, the US and Europe and there's only going to become more and more. And um, a lot of these carry high price tags, so you don't have to buy these products. And most people, if you think about what most people in um, different cultures and in different communities actually live on, they live on some really basic sort of staples like rice and beans, and they've been doing this for centuries. And the basic food vegan staples, in case you're not aware, fruit and vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes and pulses, and nuts and seeds. So if you're consuming all of these four product, um, all of these four vegan staples, you will be getting all the nutrients that you need. And here's a few of my top tips for eating vegan food on a budget. If you buy your food in bulk, this is one of the best ways that you can actually save some money. And I go to places like a vegan um, or an Asian supermarket or an Indian supermarket and they have like big bags of rice, they've got big bags of chickpeas to cashews to so many different things like all your seasonings, curry powders and that. And you can find the best prices as well. If you don't have these sort of places around you, you can just, you know, your local um, supermarkets, just go along your top five things that you buy every time you go to the supermarket. Write them down and go to say five different shops and find out the price for each of these things. If you actually put them down, add up the total of each of them together, you'll soon work out which one of these places is the best place to buy, which is the cheapest. And um, you can, really find some good prices if you focus on the bulk stuff and not packaged and not processed foods. Make a realistic plan and a realistic budget for the meals you plan to eat, whether it's for that week or whether it's for that month. And just make sure that you stick to this as well. Buy in season produce, that's always going to be cheaper. But also keep in mind that you can, you can buy frozen foods and you can buy canned foods. If you, cook if you cook your food in bulk and you freeze it, this is another great way to save some money instead of going out to dinner all the time, instead of getting takeaway that you don't really need or you're not getting the best sort of takeaway to eat. Um, this is what I do as well because I just simply don't have time to cook something every single day. So once a week or once every two weeks, I'll actually set aside some time and I'll make at least, you know, four sort of dishes and I'll put them in the, if the fridge or the freezer and I'll have them for later. And then I can come home, whether it's late, whether it's early, and I can have something to eat. And it's going to be something healthy, it's going to be something good that I actually enjoy, and I'm not slaving away for a half an hour to an hour every day making this sort of food. At the very least, you can cut up your fruit and vegetables and put it in the fridge or the freezer so that when you come home and you want to cook, the preparation is done for you. And um, this also ensures that you have leftovers, is one of the things that I love, and um, you will actually eat well, as long as you stick to it. Another thing that people don't realize is sometimes your thirst is mistaken for hunger. So make sure you're getting enough water. If you don't like plain water or tap water, you put a squeeze of lemon juice in or something like that. But make sure you're having enough water. 
Um, another thing that you can do is thinking outside the square. What about dumpster diving where you actually go to your local supermarket and go through the bin of all the stuff that they throw away. There's so much stuff that places throw away nowadays. Food Not Bombs is a great organisation that actually gives free food to people in need. And um, you could also buy less than fresh food and fruit and vegetable. I know my local Chinese supermarket, whenever you go there, they have all the bruised bananas and I can buy like a whole punnet of them for like a dollar. So I put them in the freezer and I can use them for my smoothies every morning. You could also join a community garden, an urban garden or a co-op cooperative grocery store. You can make your own things as well, like instead of buying muesli or granola, you can make your own. Make your own condiments, like your, the sauces that you use to flavour your salads or your meals. Examples of some items to buy include fruit and vegetables, frozen and canned is fine. Um, obviously fresh is better, but it's just whatever you can afford. Rice, pasta, noodles, beans. And you can make so many different things with these, just these basic sort of examples of what to buy. You can make soups, stews, curries, stir fries, and so much more. And I hope all that has helped. And just keep in mind, just do the best that you can with what you've got. And I hope you join me for next week's video, which is, are music and art valuable tools to communicate the vegan message? See vivalavegan.net for more information.